Hello, I wanted to do a quick video here of uh, my father's homemade can smasher. Yeah, I've got this uh, bucket you can get at a farm supply store. It hangs over a panel and they're pretty handy for holding cans. Uh, got quite a few done. This is in the end of the old barn so it's going to be a little dirty but I want to show you the can smasher he made it's a big pretty big item and what it uh, has this action this handle wasn't made quite right but it works for this job now i'm going to show you the components here Let's see here this is a a light duty c channel say what is that oh that's probably i don't know two and a half this would be inch and an eighth two and a half that might be three inches across there. Probably is. Well, three by inch and a eighth C channel. And as you see, he just, he made the back wall out of it. <clears throat> and then put welded. Now what you do is you cut a, a notch out of this C channel. And then you bend bend it over and then re-weld it. If you've done that before, it's it's pretty cool. You have to do it to both sides at the same location. But it's all a one piece unit. The back slider, this I believe is one inch uh, square tubing. And this here is probably inch and a quarter square tubing and of course that's the I don't know if that's inside or outside diameter but they fit together rather nicely and then you have to put that on a well, if you can see that in there or not it's just a little thin metal that that's all they weld it to this piece and then you tack it into this piece into your into this C channel. And this here is, uh, the handle is all strap iron. It's a rather heavy gauge strap iron. You could probably find this at about any store. Now I would make this part here just a little bit longer. So this handle, see this handle gets very, very close to hitting your knuckles but uh, see this is a, some little thing he made this slider it's, what is that okay it's welded to the inch and a quarter and this is just a flat piece of metal here with a piece of metal welded to it he was a very good welder I'm not bad, but he might have been better. And uh, see, this strap iron was off an old sprinkler, I believe, or an old piece of farm equipment. If you need lots of metal, the U pullet yards usually have a salvage side, and oftentimes they have pulled this kind of stuff out of loads that's come in and have set it to the side. <clears throat> allowing people to pick up stuff because that's how they make their money is selling uh, iron. Now this appears to be oh, that's probably inch and an eighth strap iron and this is heavy duty that mm, probably is a quarter inch in width quarter by inch and an eighth strap iron 
and then he just drilled a couple of holes in the end and put this piece of pipe in there. And that's a, just a piece of pipe with a bolt through it. So now I'm gonna try and show you how this works. I have a can that's mashed in there. And I'll put another one in there. I'm gonna have to change hands here. Now, what I like to do is to leave that just a little bit off the can. Now I'm gonna try and move over here and just leave it about an inch off the can or a half inch. And as you come down, it doesn't stop. See what I mean? If you rest it on the can and then pull, it's a little harder to do. Like this. Now if you pull, it's, it's quite a pull. You raise it a little bit. It's very easy to pull it down. Now, sometimes this head, try that again. Sometimes this head turns a little bit. This is, has quite a little wear on it. And the can turns off to the side. And uh, it does this instead of a straight pull. Once you get used to it, though, you get a little action going. You can run the handle and hold this to one side a little bit, and it uh, works a lot better, especially if it's war. We'll do one more here since I dropped the phone. All right. You see it really mashes them cans. But this has a lot of torque on it. That's almost perfect. This has a lot of torque on it because of the length of the handle. Now, if you guys want, I can get you some more uh, dimensions or measurements on this. Just throw it in the comments and I'll get back with you on it. But this probably cost him nothing to build. I'm sure we had this stuff, you know, uh, on an old ranch, farming ranchers, they saved everything. This is probably in the iron pile. But uh, like I say, go to those uh, you pull it yards. You know, if they have a scrap steel side, they'll sell you this stuff as it comes in. You might even want to make it a little heavier and and uh, make it so it don't stop on you or it don't pull hard. All right, thanks for watching.